Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're watching Amber Lynn organize and declutter some of the spaces in her home. Let's go. Okay, you guys. Truth is, behind the store, it's a mess. So, this is my closet. And it's kind of crazy a bit. I wanted to show you guys, like, before and, like, maybe, like, the process of me cleaning it. Because <laughs> we are going to be cleaning this, me and y'all. I think the first thing I'm going to do is simply go through all of these clothes. There are clothes that I know that I am never going to wear, so what's the point of keeping? So that is what I am going to do right now. Look who joined me. Rarity Gray. These are the clothes that I'm getting rid of. Holy shit, that seems like a lot of clothes. When's the last time she went through all her clothes and decluttered? Or does she just have that many things that she bought from Tor that she can't fit into or doesn't wear? And we have a... We sobble wobble. So step one is complete. Okay, step one is completed. Let's do a little before and after. I don't know, still seems like there's quite a bit of clothes there. It almost looks like she just mushed them all together in the middle to make it look like there was less. I went through all of the clothes and these are the ones I decided to keep. Next, I'm gonna go through these purses and go through this pile of clothing. Okay, so went through the purses. Okay, there we go. That looks like some major decluttering. She did good on the purses. Cleaned off that spot. I don't even remember what's in here, so let's take a peek -see. Oh, okay, a purse and a jacket. So next thing I'm going to do is transfer these clothes to over there and probably pick up some of all this nonsense on the ground. Okay, you guys, closet update. So... That is looking way better. Does it stress anyone else out that all the hangers are on one side of the closet and therefore the stability of the rack has been compromised? No, I'm the only weird one. So this is my scrapbook stuff. So I am just gonna leave it over there in the corner. This container will be going in the hallway closet. This is just like picture frames, boxes, to like my laptop and cameras and stuff. And then these are just Things that Becky drew me that I just have in here for now. And then I went through here. This is where I keep my underwear and my pants. So I already went through all that. Next thing I'm about to tackle is this bookshelf that I have in my closet. This is where I keep my graphic novels and my poetry books that I have not read yet. Because the ones that I have read I keep somewhere else. So I'm excited to get this cleaned because this is looking just insane oh guys look what i spotted it's bora bora and i'm actually thinking about maybe moving this to like right here to face out okay you guys the closet is finished and before i show you guys i want to remind you real quick of how it looked in the beginning kinda crazy a bit so i have to show you guys how it looks now Something spectacular, but I know videos like this can be super satisfying. I don't know. I am pretty satisfied. Again, here is before. Kinda crazy a bit. So there's just so much more room now, I feel like, and just not as cluttered. I mean, it looks great. I just wonder how long it stayed that way. So in yesterday's vlog, we organized this. And I told you this and this needs to be done next. So that is what I am about to do. So this top drawer, I have a crimper that I think I used once or tried to. Yeah, you can uh, just go ahead and throw that away. So I have tons of lipsticks. I'm gonna go through those. Then this whole second drawer is 
the most random shit. Oh, I forgot I have this nail polish. Such a pretty color. We have this random container with a bunch of, whoops, <laughs> bobby pins. Tons of chokers and earrings. Just galore. So I'm just gonna take everything out first. That's just what makes the most sense to me. And then go through everything little by little. Gucci that Feline got me. Damn, I haven't worn that in so long. She's the only one who uses this bathroom, right? That is a lot of stuff for one person. I can have my Gucci on. Oh, and this pretty blue nail polish. Forgot about that. So by the handful. I'm just grabbing and putting on my sink. Y'all see what I mean? She's got all that stuff that's just in the drawers. And then she's got all this other stuff in the cabinet. All right, they are both cleared. Down here, these are also just empty, so I don't really use those for anything. My first objective, I've been trying to detangle some of these chokers. It hasn't been too bad. I think it looks worse than what it actually is. So that's a good thing. I am probably going to be getting rid of some of these because I do not wear all of them. Like this one I wore one time. I don't know if I'll see myself wearing it again. I might keep it though. Random fact, when I used to sell earrings, this pair was actually the one that people wanted the most and I got asked about the most. Probably because if you're going to buy something of Amber Lynn's, you're probably going to want the thing that looks most like it belonged to her. This is mine and Twinkie's little best friends thing. This goes on her collar and this is a necklace. It's a bone. It says best friends and she wears half and I wear half. Update. This is the jewelry that I'm keeping. I know it looks like an absolute mess, but it's fine. I'll fix it. This is earrings where I can't find the pair to. I'm just like, ma'am, where are you? And then here are some rings I'm trying to decide on. And then so far, this container is the stuff I'm getting rid of. Chokers, necklaces, earrings, coin purses, um, some hair clips I've never used. Hopefully she's not done purging yet because that thing should be like overflowing. Okay, so these are the lipsticks I am keeping, but I'm not going to be putting them back in here. I'm going to be putting them with the rest of my makeup. And I got rid of quite a few, I'm not going to lie. Um, got rid of some Urban Decay, Revlon, Koki, Milani, NYX. Yeah, there's a lot. Maybelline, some... Winky Lux. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of lip stuff. Okay, but why are they going in that container? I really hope she's throwing those away. Okay, so I put everything away where it needs to be, like earrings, band aids, all the other miscellaneous stuff um, does not belong in these drawers. I have nowhere really to put my necklaces, so we have some chokers back here. Some necklaces I've never worn, some rings, my toothbrush, some miscellaneous earrings where I need to find the other ones, Gucci necklace, all my other necklaces, and then here we just have bobby pins, crimper, little tiny hair ties, scissors, hair tie. Wow. These look so much better now. Yes. You know what? I'm going to give her a win for that. She got rid of a ton of stuff. Okay, you guys, so I'm about to reorganize the shelf. I'm going to take some off. I'm going to put some on. And, well, I mean, first of all, I'm going to take everything off, dust it, and then I'm going to reorganize it. So, let's begin, folks. Okay, well, I totally agree with the last one where she organized the bathroom. This one, I feel like... <laughs> Maybe it doesn't need it quite so much, but go ahead, girl. Let's begin. 
the coffee table heavy? Mm. They close at nine? Yeah. Okay, just being a little bit nosy here, but I wonder what happened here. Do you guys know? If you know, let me know down in the comments. I'm really curious. My American Idol started playing in the middle of my appointment. Okay, so it is finished. It's just a lot more. Sorry, these are the new balances we have to send off. We still haven't done that. I put some crystals, some towers, tower, this beautiful guy here. I just feel like this looks, I don't know, better, more clean. I think the word you're looking for there is the same. It looks the same. Hey you guys, so I figured while I'm stuck doing nothing, I could be a little productive and go through all of these lipsticks. Okay, first of all, I don't want to shame anybody who has a lot of makeup. Not trying to be a hypocrite here. I just want to know how much of that do you think she has actually used? Not just open it up and swatched it on her arm or whatever, but actually has used. Because I'm thinking it's probably like less than a third of all that. Let's be real. No human can use this many lipsticks in their lifetime. So let's dive right in so i'm gonna just be laying them on my bed i think i'm just gonna like color coordinate them i guess would be the first option i don't really know we'll see what i decide okay oh this is my leg by the way oh it's a massive leg okay like in some of these i've had for so long this is probably like one of the most longest one i've ever had Easily four plus years. That's a tart, so that's like automatic trash. This is one of my newer ones, ColourPop Lippy Sticks. Look at that color. Gorge. Has anyone ever tried e.l.f. lipstick? Like I've heard such mixed reviews, like some people hate it and other people like it. I know uh, my friend Dana said that she doesn't like them very much. I don't remember if I've ever tried it, so I will be keeping it to try it. Okay, this is totally giving me hoarder's vibes. You know how when they're trying to clean out the person's house, they have to stop at every single item and they're like, do you want this or do you not want this? And the person always is like, there's this whole story behind it. Can't get rid of that because, you know, so-and-so gave it to me a million years ago and I'd rather just have it buried under this pile of crap. That's totally Amberlynn. She has a story for everything. Instead of being like, oh, hey, yeah, haven't ever used this. Had this for so long, but never used it let me throw it away she's like you know what i've never used it so i better hang on to it that makes no sense if you haven't used it you're not going to throw it away so speaking of marilyn monroe on netflix they have a new series a documentary called the unheard tapes do you guys see what I mean? She picks up a lipstick and it's got Marilyn Monroe on it. Oh, speaking of Marilyn Monroe, Netflix, blah, 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 blah. Do you want it or not? Throw it away or keep it and let's move on. Okay, so I found one I want to try. Like, it's this purpley color with a bunch of glitter and I'm just over here wondering why I bought it to begin with. I've never tried it, so. Oh, no, no, no. Mm-mm. Oh, wait. Okay. I'm keeping it because it also smells good. And I think with a good, like, face of makeup on, it might actually look really good. Okay, so no shade against e.l.f. I just remembered that the only lip product I've tried from them is their plumping gloss. I love e.l.f. Pretty much anything they've ever done. But their lip plumping gloss doesn't actually work. So, upon opening some more... Look at the top of this one. There is a little cat. Look how adorable. 
Like, you pretty much even see the whiskers. Like, how cute is that? Why would I want to use it and ruin it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because it's makeup and that's what you bought it for. Unless you plan on leaving it out on display for visitors to see. Just use it or throw it away. So, I'm a Drew Barrymore stan. So, if you guys love her like I do, um, she actually has a makeup brand called Flower. So, if you're interested... You should go get some. Can you imagine if I was sponsored by Drew Barrymore and we were actually secretly best friends? <laughs> so this one right here, the Revlon 021 Black Cherry. First of all, the packaging feels like velvet. I love it. But it is the darkest color I have. And I have never worn it. Look how dark that is. Super gorgeous though. Okay, so update. I've gone through every single one. These are my garbage, but then all these are my maybes. So now I'm gonna go through them again. Ugh, this is actually harder than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, they're all the same color. I'm gonna make it easy on you, Amberlynn. Pick any one at random and throw the rest away. They're all the same color. So it's getting a lot darker in here, so don't mind the lighting, but this type of color is not good for my lips because my lips are so small. Look. It, like, makes them look like two red lines just, like, across my face. Just, like, chilling. Just, like, I hate it. So, this is definitely a no-go. Okay, so there's another one I want to try. <laughs> I like trying them. Because I'm just like, what possessed me to buy this color? For my type of lip. Like. Doesn't look horrible, but I still have like <laughs> some from the last one I did. Wait. Keeping it with a full face? I think it would look good. Let's try one more. <laughs> it's like Barbie pink. Let's do it. I honestly love a pink lip. I'm not going to lie. Depending on the pink, uh, with like an all black outfit is like one of my most favorite looks on myself. Raise your hand if you've ever seen her wear an all black outfit with pink lips. Because I don't think I ever have. But this one? Ooh. Oh my god, this lighting. I look so crazy in this lighting. Mwah. So that one is going to be a no. Look how big my no pile has gotten. Oh my god. Okay, so I have these cute little containers that the ones I'm keeping, I'm going to like organize. And I will show you guys when I'm done. So I'm officially finished. These are all the ones I'm getting rid of. I would love to do a giveaway, but obviously I wouldn't give the ones that I've used. I have a lot that I've never opened, but I feel like a lot of them are expired and I would hate to give you guys expired makeup. So I'm sorry. I do want to do a giveaway though. And I'm kind of excited. And these are the ones that I kept. Wait, that's all she has left? Okay, girl. I'm impressed. That's, that's, that was a lot of purging. Good job. There is still quite a few, but not like a ton. This is just like, uh, lip liners, gloss. These are like all the gloss ones. These are just the longer ones, and then these are the regular ones. <laughs> Hopefully that made sense. You know, amberisms. I mean, overall, I gotta hand it to the girl. She's pretty good about organizing and decluttering. If only she wouldn't let it get so bad in the first place. But anyway, I hope you all had fun. I know I did. Don't forget to leave me your thoughts and comments down below. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll consider doing so.